everyone and welcome to Sugar Spice Nice. My name is Shweta and in this video I'm taking you with me for a breakfast buffet. I'm at the Renaissance Hotel in Pavai in Mumbai and I'm going to be trying out their breakfast buffet. Now I am actually staying here and I have my entire stay experience in a different video and I'll link that in the description box below. But this video is going to be about my breakfast experience here. If you want to know how I enjoyed my 5 star hotel breakfast then make sure you watch the whole of this video. is really really widespread the first section that i stopped at was the fruits section you can see there's a good choice of cut fruits and whole fruits there's bananas apples grapes cut pineapple cut watermelon cut musk melon and there's also a section for uh, boiled sauteed vegetables and stuff so i saw them here and then i saw a few more roasted and stir fried vegetables ahead i'll show it to you guys and here you can see there's also some cut meats and different types of cheese. My first course in a breakfast is always going to be fruits. Normally there is only that one course but because I'm here for a buffet, I'm going to be trying out more things. But fruit is essential so I'm starting with some banana. And this is the view for breakfast today. Not bad at all. It's actually been amazing to sit outside but it is so hot right now it's unbearable to even sit on the outer side where there is some direct sunlight coming now this is the main section so this is the vegetarian side of the main section there is palak puri there are parathas there is aloo matar sabzi there is upma there is pongal there is idli and there is a variety of dosas. So you basically order your dosas and they come and serve it to you on the table. And there are various types, right? From a sada dosa, masala dosa, to even a Mysore masala dosa. So I've ordered myself a Mysore masala dosa. This is the other section where you have a little bit more continental stuff. There is made to order eggs and there are pancakes and a lot of other things. So I would say this section has a little bit more non-vegetarian stuff than vegetarian. This is my next course. After choosing from all of that variety, I got Palak Puri. I don't know, it was just attracting me. And uh, I got Aloo Matar Sabzi with it and I got a Batata Bada. Puri Bhaji is something that I really like in the morning, but that's usually a dry bhaji, like a dry Aloo Sabzi. Uh, this is, I think, more Delhi style or North Indian style. Mmm. I'm so glad I took this. This is amazing. The puris itself are very very flavorful. They have like these little bits of spinach in it which is adding so much flavor. And the aloo matar sabzi is a very light tomato gravy flavored with a bit of spices. Try the batata vada. Mm, it's got a ton of garlic inside. That's like the first flavor that you get. It's not at all spicy. I really wish there was some chutney with it and there was some pao. I had ordered a Mysore Masala Dosa. Um, normally I would never have a Mysore Masala Dosa at a place like this but somehow the way they were making it was very very tempting. So there is a red chutney of sorts but uh, I don't think it's how I like it. Well, let's try it. Definitely extra points to the sambar for having drumstick. I like that the outer part of the dosa is super duper crispy. I don't know, for some reason this is a little bit on the spicier side. So along with the potato masala, it's also got pieces of onion and they're almost feeling like whole. They haven't been mashed along with all the chutney and everything. There is definitely a chutney in this which is adding a lot of spice. At a breakfast buffet, it's impossible for me to not try out the idli, so I got the idli and um, I'm getting very very tempted for all kinds of fried things this morning so here is a hash brown and I also got some juice I think the sambar here is just overpowering on two flavors sweet and sour it is extremely sweet 
but it's also extremely sour. Like at a point that sourness almost hits your throat. Glee and chutney is gonna be my thing for today. So hash browns honestly have a feel to them. There is a slight comforting taste of a potato, but it's all about the outer crispiness. I'm not the biggest fan of hash browns. I personally prefer fries or even wedges. But let me know what you like. Fries, wedges or hash browns. Let me know in the comments below. I think the dessert section of a breakfast buffet is just so much sin. I mean, it is tempting on one hand, but I don't know. There's a reason why we don't do buffets very often, and it is this. I just end up looking at the stuff and getting tempted to eat no matter what. So you can see the dessert section is so tempting. There are croissants, there's danish, there's muffins and so many different types of muffins actually. There was an oats muffin, there's a chocolate muffin, there's a vanilla muffin. If I try one thing, I just feel I'm gonna end up trying everything. So I'm gonna be sticking to tried and tested chocolate muffin and a slice of tea cake. Now I had the chocolate muffin yesterday and it was so good. So I just had to have it today. There's a section where they do pancakes and they were making them fresh and there were all of the toppings out there for them, like whipped cream, All right, it's time to indulge. This is moist. It's not feeling like a dry muffin. Normally, a muffin can feel a little bit dry. And this doesn't even have any chocolate bits or chocolate chips inside or any dry fruits. But still, this is so good on its own. It's just feeling so fresh. Now time for the tea cake. I don't know if these particular ones are eggless or not, I'll go check and tell you, but they did have quite a few eggless and egg based dessert varieties. So this is like melt in your mouth. I think after a breakfast buffet that feeling of fullness and satisfaction is always there and it just makes me want to go back to my room and just take a quick nap. So I'm going to be finishing my tea and doing that and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I don't think I've done too many of a breakfast buffet videos but I just thought this one was interesting so I thought of sharing with you guys. If you want to see my stay experience at the Renaissance in Hawaii then I'm going to leave a link to that in the description box below so make sure you check that. And this was actually part of my stay package and that is really it. Don't forget to give this video a big like, share it with your friends and family and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!